almost 12 months to the day, I hurt my back. And thanks to the wonders of modern science and medicine and to my support crew that I have around me with physio and, and PT, oh, I'm, I'm doing really, really well. But I have some long lasting effects from that. And a major one is in the way that I work sitting down to record and then edit, which takes me forever, a video is just something I, I, I struggle with at the moment. And that's why you've seen hardly any videos from me Ooh, for a good year. I do a lot of live streaming in my Facebook group. So I'm, I'm doing videos because I don't have to edit them. I film it. Whatever happens, happens. Great. But as I, as I, you know, my recovery goes and I'm ready to, you know, edit videos, uh, I oh, so often forget to film myself doing things. And this video, we're sort of dropping in halfway through something. And I was sitting there doing my swatching. I thought, oh, this would be something fun for me to record. So I was in my lounge room where I started this and testing out, well not testing, so I've done all the testing, but swatching out all of my new Creative Juice uh, Feeling Inspired series of inks. And I've put all 24 colors in their own ink brush in one of my uh, water brushes. And I've used all sorts of different nib uh, widths for different inks. I love that variety. And I just, I moved my whole operation from the lounge room to my art studio where I've got lighting and I can record something for you. All of that to just explain why I'm, <laughs> I've already got work here. Usually when I do a video, I sort of take you along from the beginning of the journey, but here we are starting in the middle. What I wanted to show you and why I wanted to do the video was look at what yellow ink does inks are so cool in general these new creative juice inks are just the most joyful things but this is something yellow is such a strange creature in the dye based ink land because oh yeah um, it does it can do this because you think yellow being the lightest sort of of colors it's not going to be very powerful and here it is going head to head with purple it's complementary color usually when you mix purple and yellow together what do you get you get a beige you get a, a grayish neutral but in these creative juice inks all oh, the yellow she has strength the yellow she is sunshine and so i've just <laughs> this is when I thought, I have to go and record this. I have to show this little trick. Uh, and there are tons of lovely little surprising tricks that are inherent in these beautiful inks. So these inks were developed really for dip pens, which if you've never used, especially a glass dip pen, oh my goodness, you really need to rectify that because... I don't know what else to tell you. It The whole experience is a joy. They're not an expensive tool. They deliver major, major bang for the buck. You can use any ink with them because they are glass. You can't cannot ruin them unless you drop them. So just don't be dropping your art supplies, uh, throwing them around the room. Like many things in life, treat your art, art supplies well and they'll treat you well in return. On the screen, I'm using one of my pinpoint paint pens. This is in Snow White. To add a little bit of highlight to each of the faces that I've completed, I just find that it turns them from being little scribbly doodles to like little people that are starting to appear, little personalities. I'm also adding some of my Epic pen to this. This is a waterproof a carbon black ink and superb for adding just some really really sharp details I could also have used my finishing line pens I have two micro sizes in those which are fabulous for doing these little tiny details with eyes and uh, I just have to interrupt myself there I'm recording in my home office 
I, I actually do my videos in my art studio, uh, but my you know proper computer is in my home office. And I live in such a treed area that there are the weirdest birds flying around making such noise. It's hilarious. You might be able to hear Moo, my little uh, <laughs> Laza Moodle. She is so sweet and cute little old lady snoring, snoring her head off. And every so often there might be a dog barking. But, you know, this is life. Okay. <laughs> Just creating along with you. Here I am using my another one of my paint pens this is the storytime paint pen and i'm just a fool for paint pens just the ease of being able to use acrylic ink with precision get a bit of opacity brilliant i use this as an eraser so i'm uh, i do my little face shapes these little blobs just to draw out the colors and here i am creating a color chart that i'll use on my website uh, to you know showcase these beautiful inks and the gorgeous colors and I'm, I'm the little blobs uh, don't come out perfect surprise surprise but I can just you know give them a little bit of face shaping with that uh, paint pen love doing my swatches this way is so much fun I mentioned glass paint pen let's use one now to create details so so far i've used the um ink brushes which i just literally tipped the ink into here i am opening up my uh, ink i think i'm going to i wanted to use contrasting colors for each of my little faces here so i'm using rather than just using black and white or a dark and a light i want to use colors because I have 24 gorgeous creatures to select from, I've dipped my glass pen into the bottle and I'm just trying to show you just with the handmade glass pen. See, you've got all of those grooves, the swirls going up the, the pen, up the nib. That is what is holding the ink. And that is why when you're using an ink a glass pen, it just goes on and on and on and on forever and ever and ever and a day. And very often if you're using a dip pen like this, a glass pen, and you just you feel like you're running out of ink, just twirl it a little bit, you'll have another little bit of ink ready to go. The knack teal looks quite dark. I'm sorry this is out of focus, it'll it'll snap back into focus in a second. But it looks quite dark when the ink is first down. Then I'm just dabbing it here and there with a little bit of paper towel and see how it reveals the brightness of the color so with inks and this is with all inks there's the way it looks when you first put the color down but always keep in mind you if you remove a little bit with a bit of paper towel while it's still wet you'll get its alter ego and I think that's something oh that's delicious about inks then I'm going back and using its darker self as its own shadow so both of the bluey greens that are I'm drawing with are the same color it's the knack teal and all of the colors in this collection there's 24 colors uh, and the the collection name is feeling inspired and these are all words to do with talent and genius and uh, where and, and words that are used to describe creativity and inspiration and um <laughs> where the words come from the thesaurus yes <laughs> and while i have that knack teal on my glass dip pen which is uh one of the ones i've designed for my uh store for my online store and the little uh rest the pen rest is a wave and this particular one, I think it's the blue mermaid tailed one, but there's rainbow ones, I've done butterfly ones and glow in the darkish kind of ones, all beautiful sorts of things. Anyway, I'm just chiseling out the details. And what's fascinating to me is I have done a trillion bajillion of these little faces. Because these little faces, this is how I do my swatching. And they all look a little bit different. They've all got different personalities, even without me trying to do it. It's just these are the little people, <laughs> the, 
the characters, the faces that are living in my pens. This is also very good practice. Uh, but you might have a favourite thing that you like to draw. I adore drawing faces, so this just appeals to me greatly. Oh, but the colours, the colours are gorgeous. So to make it, to make each one lighter, you can add water, make it into a wash. To make them darker, just use them at your at its full strength. But you can dilute these, and um, or use them at full tilt. You can make sprays with them. I would dilute them if you're going to make a spray. Uh, they mix beautifully on the page. You can, like I've done here, fill the ink brushes. You could do like di dilute those a little. I would use some distilled uh, water because um, then the chemicals aren't in it. You don't have chlorines and fluorides and other things that are put in drinking water. Um, it's just a little purer and just a little better for the pigments and other bits and pieces that are in your art supplies. So I've used that NAC teal again and I've done my little trick where I'm dabbing it with the paper towel. Um, but um, it, it didn't work as well as it did with some of the other colours and that is part of the fun of learning and swatching and working out what different colours do what with what. And as usual, I have ink and pen all over my hands where I'm testing things. That's why everything that is in my collections has to be non-toxic because a girl likes to draw all over her hands. She can't help it. This is one of my incredible pens. It's a, oh, just a really, really fabulous beginner level fountain pen. If you're a fountain pen aficionado, this might not cut it for you. You might be into the la -di da ones, but if you uh, have never used a fountain pen before, you are going to love these. These will start a lifelong love of fountain pens for you. Very similar to a dip pen, except the ink is drawn up inside and you don't have to keep dipping. However, you can use it as a dip pen. So that's what I'm showing you on screen here. I've dipped the pen into the ink. It's not going to work as well as say the glass dip pen or a for purpose dip pen, but you can certainly, uh, cause it just doesn't draw the ink up in that way, but you can certainly use it in that way. You're just gonna have to dip back and forth. And I'm using the Idea Red uh, on the apt turquoise. Oh, these colors are so beautiful. And adding those little face shapes and trying to play with the spacing and making the mouths a little different. Sometimes I play little games myself, like trying to make the eyebrows different on every one of the little faces, like a different angle, because that just changes the face so much. Adding different earrings to every single face, trying to make them look in slightly different directions for every single face. Just I I'm, I'm, sometimes play little games like that as well. And I've still got some of that knack teal on my glass dip pen and I'm using that to darken up the darkest darks on the face. So that, um, and those would be the eyelashes, the pupils, under the nose, in between the lips, a little bit of the uh, eyebrows perhaps. And then adding those little highlights again, just on the cheekbones, in the whites of the eyes. And how you do faces, probably totally different to the way I do faces. But, you know, this is me doing my <laughs> swatching for the Creative Juice ink. So we have to put up with what I'm doing. Now to wash the pen off, the dip pen, and use it for something else, just swizzle it in water. Oh, look at the mermaid tail. Seriously, all handmade. So cute. Uh, has no creative purpose other than it just being very cute. <laughs> the first ones that I did actually had a little flipped tail. It curled up in the air and then that was a little stand. I was just showing you the little glass stand. So I'm using, was that Illusion Pink? I think so, which is a really deep magenta pink. It's absolutely glory, 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 hallelujah using that over the NAC teal to get a darker shade rather than just using black to make my darkest darks 
creating a lively black, mixing various colours. And one of the things that I just adore about inks in general, but in particular these colours, because the colours are so bright and so true, there are some more muted shades in there, of course, as you can see, but the clarity of the colour really does shine forth and that makes them beautiful to mix. So you can also mix them as an ink and use them that way in your uh, ink brushes, water brushes, dilute a little, add them to sprays um, or let the colours mix themselves on your surface, whatever floats your boat. It's all inky good fun and all going to work and be beautiful and lovely. As part of my collection and this obsession I have with art supplies being versatile, <laughs> I also love adding them to my pinpoint paint pens so that I can make my own markers with them. Uh, you can add them to actual refillable markers as well as fountain pens. So in my collection, I have the Incredible Pen and also the Funton pens. There's a brush tip, a rollerball tip, and two different fountain pen tips. One's extra fine, one's super fine. I really need to do a video showing how all of these things are just so lovely. And you just think, oh, well, I'm just adding the same ink to different things. It changes completely your creative flow, the way your hands use it, just you'll get completely different results depending on the tool that you use. And look, you can just use a bamboo skewer, dip that in the ink and draw with it and you're going to get a lovely result. And inks are very, very uh, in tune with, well, not so much in tune with, but very, they change. They're very adaptable to the surface that you are applying them to. So there are different papers and they're going to look different on all different papers as well. And if I had to put the whole of this video into a nutshell, it's still going to have to be a fairly big nutshell, but let me just say, <laughs> art supplies are meant to be fun. That is my philosophy and the Creative Juice inks are that and a bag of chips. They really are gorgeous, the way they work with each other, the way they stand on their own, the bright colours, the more muted shades and of course all of the colours that you can create with them also. The Feeling Inspired sets are an exclusive to janedavenport.com and we send all around the world to happy artists every single day.